night. It would be good to get rid of them. Now we fight! Ah, people are gonna fight! Ah, no! No, gal. Just call me DMX Hawk. Where my dogs at? armor so uh I think we have an easier time in combat. I can't really tell. <laughs> no, we're definitely taking out these little block pass moves too. Always going and getting rid of idiots. Especially thug. Target the streets just because it's dark. All right, so we're here looking for some more of those Flint Company mercenaries. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Boom. Oh, yeah, usually I'm not into the uh, the warrior play style, but uh, I really like this manifestation in you know, Dragon Age 2. I like the fact that we can just, like, do this massive cleave damage to all of our enemies. I can't do that. Sucks that we can't, that we can't uh, open up chests, though. Keep on switching to Varric for that. Not likely. Who apparently is a terrible rogue because he cannot open Jess. Dang it, Varric. Alright. Now I guess I can't quick travel from anywhere. I actually have to go to one of these little transition points. Um, where's the other group of enemies I gotta destroy? Let's see. Alright. The Wounded Coast, okay. Where's the Wounded Coast, I wonder? Yes, I will gather my party much force. Alright, Low Town at night, Gamlin's House. Hangman, da da da. This is night time for all these things. Um, the Wounded Coast, that's where we need to head. Oh no, I've been ambushed. There's enemies on the path. Oh, what am I going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I don't know. Which way, where do I go? Doesn't look like there's enemies on the path. Oh, there's the spiders on the path. I see. Get up. Super satisfying to smash like six spiders at a time. The danger is past. Are you all right? No thanks to this lot. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You, though. You're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. You can start making sense any time now. My manners. Javaris Tintop, merchant and investor. I need forward thinkers to help court the Canari. Court the Kunari? Make her think of the children. Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes. And it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I often look at every second idiot and think, he needs more power. So it's some kind of Kunari magic. What use is that to a dwarf? If it is magic, it's a kind you can assemble, and dwarves do that very well. But that Arishak, he won't deal, said I have the same mercenary disease as their outcasts, the Talbashoth. He says I'm not worthy, but he had this look in his eyes, so I figure I'll hire some blades and... And you're going to prove yourself by killing Talbashoth outlaws. Problem being, I'm no warrior, but I can pay. What's the point, when we already have magic that can do the same thing? Maybe you have magic, all tough and human and whatnot. But what of the common man? How does he remove stumps from his land, or produce them on his enemies? What does he do when he needs a hole far too fast? Magic is hard to market. But this stuff, this stuff you can put in a bag. Your people must have something like that already. Small things, shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. A problem after problem. All 
right, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting. I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Oh, Aveline. Appreciate that. Well, Aveline, I'm sorry. I need the money. Alright. Getting a taste of this, uh rivalry system we have in Dragon Age 2. In the original Dragon Age we just had a simple influence system. Um, every time you did something uh, they would approve or your, your party members would approve or not approve um, and you uh, had to, to manage your friendships that way. Here we've got a friendship and rivalry system and Welden in the guard. What will they think of next? You have a problem with that? me. My family's not native either. I'm just surprised. A lot of old prejudice in the guard. I'll give them plenty of reason to change their minds. You know, it, it's possible they're just scared shitless Let's of you. Let's make this quick! That's my theory, anyway. Like I said, the, the friendship and rivalry system. Here, I, I'm, I'm hoping it works out well. I really have high hopes for it. I like the sound of it. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit more liberating. Uh, instead of having to constantly, like, basically kiss every, uh, every party member's butt. Um, oh, man, I really need to empty my inventory. Here, let's do a little quick inventory management. Um, but, yeah, instead of uh, having to, to kiss every player's butt, Every character's butt and not be true to my own character. Um, I suppose I could give that a shot. I have like this this bar right here. It says friend versus rival, um, and both of them give the same uh, in-game benefits. You know, like as far as unlocking uh, character abilities and, and suchness. Um, so it doesn't matter if I'm, I'm a friend or a rival, as far as that goes. But it allows me to. Um, you know, be more true to my personality as a character, which is great. Alright. 